Today we will discuss chapter 4 Agriculture. In this video, we will only do the introductory part. Okay, uh, just to avoid very long videos. You remember the last video that was about 30 minutes or so. Pretty long, right? The first chapter. So, this time I thought we will break down to one topic uh, per video. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So first agriculture, agriculture is a primary activity which produces most of the food that we consume every day. Do you know why agriculture is an important part of India? Yes, it is because two thirds of India's population is engaged in agriculture. Thus, such primary part of the country must be known to us all, right? This chapter will help us in enhancing our understanding of various crops and also the farmer's struggles. Therefore, for grasping the concept of agriculture better, this chapter will be of great use. Now we'll see the major topics that we are going to cover under this chapter 4. Firstly, types of farming. In this we will get to know of different farming system which India follows and they are mainly divided into three types. Okay. First primitive subsistence farming you can see here this both the pictures here. So we call them zoom cultivation here and next you have intensive subsistence farming commercial farming. Okay. We will discuss all this in details only in the upcoming videos. As today we are doing only the introductory part okay next we have cropping pattern here we'll learn about cropping pattern in India above all we will also elaborate the three cropping seasons of India Kharif crops Rabi crops Zaid crops next measure crops in this we will discuss about the major crops that are grown in India. This include food as well as non-food crops. So under grain what all things would come? Under grain like rice, wheat, millet, maize, pulses, okay those things will come under grains. Now under food crops other than grains, okay what all things would be there? Sugar cane, oil seeds tea, coffee, horticulture crops, okay, those things would include food crops other than grains. Okay. Next, non-food crops, what are the things under non-food crops such as rubber, fiber crops, okay, cotton and jute, okay, those things will come under non-food uh, crops. Next we will see technological and institutional reforms. In this we will discuss uh, the need of technological and institutional reforms in agriculture. Also we will try and enumerate the government schemes for the same. Okay. Next we will see the contribution of agriculture to the national economy, employment and output. Over here we will learn about the involvement of agriculture in developing the national economy and employment scenario. Along with that, we will also identify the issues in the downfall success rate among farmers. Okay. We will get to know why farmers commit suicide. Okay. All those points will be covering in this point. Okay. Next, this is the last impact of globalization on agriculture. In this we will discuss how the impact of globalization has had on agriculture and subsequently how it will help us recognize the reasons and measures that can be taken to enhance production. Okay. This thing will cover up in this point. So these are the six major points that we'll be covering up in this chapter four. Okay, so that's it for today. 
uh, take care of yourself stay tuned with your books and i will see you in the next video thank you